At the very end of this private conversation, Mr. Wal Mr. Walburn brought up concerns of misconduct involving the former chief of defense staff. Harjit Sajjan broke his silence today about what happened in a March 2018 meeting with then military ombudsman Gary Walborn. He did not give me any details. I did not allow him to give me any details. On those points, he and Walborn agree. Where they differ is on what happened next. Sajjan says he told the ombudsman to use his authority, which would have included handing the allegations over to military police. I cannot intervene because okay. it would be obstruction of an investigation. No politician should do that. But for the opposition, it wasn't a question of what the ombudsman should or should not have done. We do know today that in 2018, both you, Mr. Minister, and the Prime Minister knew that there were allegations of sexual misconduct against the Chief of Defence Staff, and neither of you took any effective action. Sajjan did refer the allegation to the Privy Council Office. Its investigation was inconclusive. At one point today, it was suggested Sajjan looked the other way because he and Vance served together in Afghanistan. I've had many people, many white men, trying to tell me what my experience is. I would go after anybody, regardless of rank or position, if allegations brought forward. We're angry. We're angry that allegations of inappropriate behavior continue. According to this high-ranking officer, the misconduct investigations are taking a toll on the military. We're also tired of constantly being uh, generalized as victims for those of us that are women and sexual predators uh, for my male colleagues. Tonight, Harjit Sajjan enjoys the confidence of the Prime Minister, who said Sajjan acted quite appropriately in handing off the misconduct allegation. Murray Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.